Hello, Carl Newton here, new regular content provider for women's football today. Just a brief video today covering today's breaking news in the Women's Super League. That being that Carl Award is to resign as Birmingham City manager and her last game will be against Southampton in the FA Cup this Sunday coming. Um, I'm a huge Birmingham City fan, so... Naturally, I'm absolutely devastated by this news today. Um, it was widely presumed that with uh, the big TV revenue money coming in in the summer from Sky and BBC, that Carla would be um, having a good crack at the whip for as a reward, really, for um, the season that we've been through, pure turmoil on and off the pitch, um, point deduction, sacrificing points. She only had eight players on the books when she came in, inadequate facilities off the pitch, resulting in the players writing an open letter to the board. Um, it was widely thought amongst us Blues fans that the money had come in the summer from Sky and that would rectify all the problems and Carla would be able to you know, do things properly um, without constraints. And it's transpired she's not going to be doing so. Um, she made a statement later, earlier, even, sorry, she made a statement earlier, um, saying that the job wasn't sustainable, um, mainly for her well-being and her mental health and physically, um, which I can imagine because it's, it's got to have been a complete stress ball this year. Um, not helped by the clubs, the overall club CEO, Birmingham City Men's Academy and Women's CEO, um, making things a lot harder and, and refusing to talk about the issues, uh, resulting in the open letter, that being Rendong. He has resigned this week. Um, and there was kind of hope there then. But it's, it's dissipated again now that Carl has announced her resignation. Um, unfortunately, I do suspect there might be a bit more to this. Um, my money would be on one of the other jobs in WSL. I'd like to think that she's got enough loyalty and respect to Birmingham and she seems to have enjoyed her time at Birmingham um, enough to not switch over to the other side of the city in the vacancy there, being Aston Villa. Um, but there was a derby game recently and in the build-up in the press beforehand, she did go on record as saying that they were a proper club run properly. Read into that what you may. Um, but my money's on Manchester United. I think she's she's only a year or so younger or older than Casey Stone. Um, she was known as an attacking player. She Until she came to Birmingham, my Sheffield United team were an attacking side. And that would suit Man United to the bone. Um, that would be where my my money's at, really. I'd, I'd back her to go there. Um, unless the merry, merry go round takes another swing, I mean... I, for a while, I thought Hope Powell might be coming to Aston Villa um, on the Aluku link, um, Aluku being the, f the director of football there, but she's resigned today um, to go to a post in America, so maybe that won't happen. Um, but maybe Carla Ward will make, wait for another vacancy to open up. Would Arsenal be interested in her? Might be a different um, sort of direction for them to take. But I'll go on record, as I'm sure all Birmingham City fans do, and say that she deserves Carla Ward deserves Coach of the Year award for this year. She's she's performed miracles, getting a side out there week in week out, and keeping their heads above water and keeping them in the division. Um, and she goes with our best wishes and thanks in that regard. And and there's only disappointment that the stress of the season has has tarnished her opinion and the job so much that she's she's left the position. Um, that makes me very sad as a fan. But we'll wait and see who we bring in now. Um, I don't know who'd want the job in terms of, for me, 
knowing what's gone on this season just gone if you're going to take the job it's going to depend on sitting down with the new CEO of Birmingham City Football Club and getting assurances that it won't be run as farcically as it was this season. I think without those assurances, nobody would touch a job with a barge pole. Um, but I think my money, I, if I was to choose the ideal appointment at this moment in time, I'd probably say Marcus Bignett. Um I think he did a fantastic job at Villa as interim in keeping them up. Their team, I, I photographed their team a lot for the agency I worked with, um, along with Birmingham City at times. And his Villa side were battlers. They were ballers on the pitch. They, they gave blood, sweat and tears for the shirts. And I'd like to see that from my Birmingham team. Um, he's familiar to the Birmingham setup as a coach previously. So, yeah, that, that would be my ideal appointment, get Big Marcus in. But as I said, I don't know who'd want to touch him without assurances from the new CEO that the money from Sky and BBC is going to be pumped into the women's club in terms of upgrading facilities. And we're going to, I think we've only got three or four players on the books now because most of our players are alone players. So we're going to need to to more or less buy a whole new squad. There's a couple of academy kids that could probably come in, but we're going to need the best part of eight or ten players at a very minimum. So I think without those assurances from the new CEO, I don't know who fancy it, if anyone. Um, certainly not anybody that that have the calibre to, to keep the club in WSL and progress it like it needs to progress. But... Time will tell and we'll see. Um, and I'll speak more about this in my new weekly episode starting next week.